Hey there, my little kitten tops. Welcome to Reader Journey. I'm Journey. So I'm doing a reading and I'm going to channel as I talk to you because it was a channel reading that came through. And also, y'all, by the way, Satan's trying to put y'all on that, um, trying to put pin you up in your homes again. Trying to start that routine. Uh, I'm trying to fix it so they don't stop me, but trying to fix it so you'll be on lockdown again okay so you may want to pray, pray about that because the devil's up to his antics once again and if you can't do it that way he's going to try a different way so i need y'all who are aware and awakened even if you ain't awakened and woke if you didn't like that little lockdown that you was on before i suggest you get to talking to your angel team whatever you believe in even if you believe in nothing start talking asking them to block that because they're trying that and if they can't do that they're going to try something different okay so what i channeled was it's a song that i don't even like and it came through and i was saying it's a family affair it's by sly and family stone i think so i went and looked up the words and what i'm getting from that is there's people, there's family members, and there's lovers. Uh, some of you, these are your own children, where you're going to have to let go of someone who has done something that's like, I don't want to say unforgivable because you can forgive anybody if you want to. But what's been done is so deep, some of you so dark that you can't go back. Like, it's like, this, and this is a person that like you truly cared for at one time. You had a lot of love for. Some of you all have already step, stepped away from this person or people. Others, you have, uh, others of you have not. Some of you, I'm also getting somebody, one of their children is on some type of substance. And so therefore they have to let go of that child. That's a hard thing. And my prayers are with you, darling. I couldn't even imagine. I know what it's like when I, I've seen, you know, I it, thank goodness. But it's prayer, sweetheart. It's prayer all day long um, that my children and I have an excellent excellent relationship and let me tell you uh they put me through it you know sometimes they weren't let me not say like that they were never bad or anything like that or disrespectful but they would do choices sometimes your children will make choices that you like what in the world are you doing and you know they're heading down the wrong path but if you try to say something you know they get upset or there's distance between you. So I've had my share of tests, you know, with my own children. We've always got, we've always not got along, but we still try to manage to get along, right? I still have them around me because um, our creator is, is merciful and wonderful. Um, so even though we were still around each other though, there's been times where I'm like, I don't even, where's this going? Are we going to make it? You know, and she's even said it, like, when are, when are we going to get along? So there's been times, uh, they haven't been long, thank goodness, but there have been our share of challenges. And, you know, and, and the only reason for that, and I'm just, I don't know who I'm talking to today, and I'll keep channeling with the rest of y'all, okay? But I want you to know that it took a lot of prayer, and I have family members who have, you know, been strung on stuff, but they, you know, and I even got to a point like maybe this is the way they gonna be, but then they do a total turnaround, right? I've known people started doing things since they were 18. And then when they got like in their forties or early forties, they did a, a complete turnaround. They just had like a revelation, right? something takes place where they have like a come to Jesus moment, you know, for lack of better words. And they change. 
So I know that the divine can change any situation. And I want to talk to somebody too. If you feel like you're struggling and you're like, journey ain't gonna ever get out of this. It's been going on and on and on. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to have hope. I'm trying to stay in a place of peace. But journey, I just, you know, and I feel you on that. I feel you on that. You know, I've had moments, matter of fact, not that long ago, I'm like, dang, how much, you know, how much longer on certain things that I'm standing on and believing for and, you know, seeing, wanting to see change in our nation, in my, you know, just in my own life and just all types of things, right? Because I'm constantly trying to lift people and situations up in prayer. And all I can say to you is, I've been on here, I've been here for five decades. I know, don't you be laughing at me. I've been here five decades and I have always seen the divine answer. Now it was not always right away. It has taken years, right? It takes years sometimes, but I have seen my creator answer. I've seen change before. And that's what I have to stand on. What have you asked for, or believed for, or um, wanted? right and you stood on that and it came through that's what you were going to have to go back to standing strong on that and that alone okay and it's important that we do this because you deserve this whatever this is that's coming to you and it's something big sweetheart it's something big you deserve it every bit of it every tear don't let every tear go to waste right don't let every time you had to do that meditation or journal or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it go to waste. You come too far to go back now. Okay. So there's a family member here that y'all are going to have to let go. This is somebody, and you may even be saying to yourself, well, Journey, I already let them go. But there's something subconsciously that's still there. And I've had that happen before. Like this retrograde years later, I think I'm completely over something. I promise you. But then something comes up and energy comes up. Matter of fact, it was something these retrogrades. It was eight planets retrograded. And something came up that I totally, when I tell you I totally forgot about it, it was like from middle school. And it was how I treated somebody badly because I was going through a very mentally, verbally, verbally and physically abusive time in my life. And I took it out on somebody who was so sweet and so innocent. But it was so, it was bad. It was so traumatic for me back then. I think that was the time too. I didn't even want to be on this earth anymore. Did I try to take myself out? I might have. I was young. I was a little girl. I was younger and... I took it out on this, this other person and it came back and I was able to make peace with it. I was able to say sorry. You know, even though I couldn't physically say sorry to that person, I said sorry to, to our creator, our, our creator, because we got the same creator and asked them to pass on that message of forgiveness to them. And I pray that the things that I said didn't affect them in a way where they took it out on somebody else. And somebody else took it out on somebody else. You see, because it can keep going and going and going. And just really clearing and praying and clearing that karma. You know what I'm saying? So this person that you're going to have to let go of is still somewhat in your soul. Maybe you had children by this person. You guys had children, right? Maybe this was your mother. That's deep, y'all. Maybe this was your father. Maybe this was a sibling that you grew up and y'all were tight together. Or well, at least you thought. Because you were always doing the right thing by them. They did some shicey things that you saw, but you were willing to overlook it. You look overlooked it because they were your sibling. They were your cousin. They were your child. I talked, see, these energies are coming back up again. I talked about this months ago, I think back in April, where there's something coming to you. It's big. And everybody's not going to get to be a bit, to be a part of 
your opportunity, your success. This is something that's coming from somebody. Feel me if you feel me, if you understand me and under, and understand me. This is a, a chance for you to be absolutely free. To get you from, oh, why am I getting emotional? To get you from bondage. Some of y'all I'm talking to, your parents were slaves. Uh, not your parents, but your parents, 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 you know? Parents, parents, depends on your age, right? Slaves, Native American families, families that were treated very badly, especially in the U.S. nation. It's time for you to be absolutely free. Will you have a choice where you can stay, whoops, or you can leave? Whoever that just, I said that to, you know exactly what I'm talking about because I know exactly what you're believing for. And I think we're on the same page. I think we're believing for the same thing. But anyway, someone's getting left behind. All of you, somebody's getting left behind. And you're getting something that is going to change your life. But one of these children, 11, 11 on the clock, is not going to make it. That ex-lover is not going to make it. And they may even beg, y'all. I'm just being honest. Prepare yourself. Ask the divine to help you be ready for this. Because you don't, yeah, you don't see this coming. With this moon card, you don't see this coming. I think you know by now who this is. When I first did that reading, you didn't know who this was. Yeah, I'm also here and make peace with this. Make peace with this because the divine, and for those of you, you know, I'm just going to say different ways because I don't care what you believe. I don't give a hoot you too. You know, you ain't got to believe what I believe. I don't care. But there's something about God is asking you to make peace with this. To understand that there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes in his choices, okay? There are no mistakes. So while I'm switching my cards, I put them a lot of them upside down. Um, what else did I get? Again, some of you, this is going to be somebody very, very close to you. And they're going to beg. And it's going to hit your heartstrings, even though you know, whoever I'm talking to, you know what they did. You know very well what they did, but you are, it's going to pull on your heartstrings because you realize I'm never going to deal with you again. Others of you, it could be your children, but you're going to have to completely let go and you don't know what's going to happen to them. And you have to trust that the divine is going to take care of them. You don't know. Or perhaps I think some of you do know. You may have had a dream. You may know in your heart. You know, you know. And that's what that's what your tears will be for. Because you're gonna cry. You are. Because you're gonna shut and close that door completely. That's the final. That's the final thing. So No, there's no mistakes. Put them in the divine's hands. You can still love them, but love them from a distance. This person is going to beg, but you cannot. Y'all, if you do this, if you accept them back in, because I'm hearing this is the test of all tests. If you accept them back in, they're going to do right back. They're going to go back and do exactly what they did before. Some of you, this may be someone where they pop up and you waited on them for a very long time. You gave them more chances than necessary. You gave more chances than you should have given them. You reached out. You asked them over and over again. You poured your heart out. They're coming back. And they're going to pour out their heart to you. But I feel like you're going to say no. And you should say no. Why am I telling you this? Because I feel like you're going to doubt yourself on it. Because this person always, it felt like 
this was your twin flame or this felt like this was your divine partner. This was it. We got along so well. But did you? Why'd they ghost then? Why'd they choose somebody else? Why'd they go another direction? And why didn't they reach out when you reached out to them many, many times? You even reached out to them to just be friends and say, let's just clear the karma and let it go. They wouldn't even give you that out of their selfish pride. They wanted to still make you suffer because they knew. Some of you, this person knew. They knew what you were and what you were supposed to be to them. And perhaps some of you, 15, 33 o'clock, you will go back to them at some point. But that first initial when they come back, you will have to say no. And they may beg you and they may say, but you don't know, I'm just another. No. Because they're not ready. They're not ready. They're not. And if you take them like that, they're going to steal your heart again and run. You're actually not doing just yourself a favor. You're also doing them a favor. You know that saying, if you've ever heard it, if you love someone or you love something, you'll let it go. And if it returns, it was meant for you. That let Now they let you go the first time. Now it's your turn to let them go. And this is not to be mean in any way. It will probably feel good because you stood up for yourself for the first time with this person. For the first time, you were already able to tell them, no. I love myself enough. And this is your lesson to yourself, though. I love myself enough to tell you. And I love you enough. No. It ends here. It ends. So now I wish I kind of feel bad. I should have put my, foot up, my, my face on camera, but I thought I was going to pull cards. But with the five of cup, cups, they're going to walk away sad. But they're going to get over it. And like I said, if they were meant to be with you three months, six months, a year from now, if you're still single, right, and the vibe is right, and they're single, and you heal people, you'll go forward. 17, 44 o'clock. If not, you're going about your separate ways. And it's okay. You'll destroy it, but you'll know your worth. And this person will have a new beginning. So will you. But they'll now understand from you that you can't treat people any type of way. And that you have to love yourself enough. Because see, they didn't love themselves enough. That's why they were doing the things they were doing. Because people that love themselves... Don't hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. All right, so I hope you found this helpful, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. I mean, the least I can do is get you some signs. If you don't hear your sign, don't worry about it. Don't, uh, don't stress yourself. If it's for you, it will just click. If it's not, if you got to be like, I wonder if that's, mm -mm, then it's not for you. All right, but I'm going to give some some uh, cards to those who are new, who may be new to reading tarot energy to give you some insight, okay? But others of you, yeah, if you're already spiritually inclined, and you know, you've been watching, you know how it works. You know how energy goes. All right, we've got a Capricorn. We've got a Libra. We've got a Scorpio. Thank you, sweet spirit. We've got a Pisces. We've got a Leo. Thank you, sweet spirit. Appreciate you. And we've got an Aries. Okay? So those are people that may be involved in your situation, or you can be one of those people. 
Again, if it resonated for you, it will just click. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want more like it, click subscribe. I also have a new channel, which is in the description box below for air and fire signs only. Air and fire signs, I know. I love all of y'all, but I am only one person. That's one thing I've learned in these energies, these, these uh, planets that just went retrograde, this lion's gate and the Virgo full moon is, I can own, I'm only one person. So right now it's only six zodiacs that I do and that's air and fire. I also have other two channels. I have one where I'm chatting it up and I have another channel that's for like sleeping, wellness. It's a family, very family friendly channel from babies on up. And that information is in the description box as well. I thank y'all so much. And I, this is a very heartfelt message. Um, and I can truly relate because even with this energy with myself, I've had to, I've taken a lot of family losses, right? And more are coming. So I can totally understand and resonate with this. And just know that my prayers are with you, um, that you will have the strength that you need to, that you need, and that the divine will replace what you have lost because it can be done. A child doesn't have to be your child, even if, you know, just because it didn't come out your womb, right? It still does, you know, you'd be so surprised. There's many children out there that want your love and you don't know how that's going to show up in your life. You have no idea, you know, it's kind of like I'm thinking about, and I'm not crazy about celebrities. I'm not because I know what they have to do to be those, but Oprah Winfrey is coming to my mind where she never had any children. But then when she was talking about when she opened that orphanage for children, she felt like my heart was so full. She's like, she had over, I don't know how many she got now, but I know it was like over 20 kids. And she was like, I feel like every one of those children are mine. So do you see how the divine can show up? The divine can show up in so many ways, y'all. If you lost somebody, an ex, that you feel was like, you know, you thought that was the one. Let me tell you something. The divine is going to knock your socks off. Okay? If you took a lot of losses and all those cries and tears and you didn't get the child support you were supposed to get, baby, you about to get that child support and then some. Now, I understand that money cannot replace a parent. But you gave all the love that you did, you did. Who am I talking to today? It was a great parent. You or you did your best, right? The divine is going to is going to pay you for all the times that you had to pay the rent by yourself, all the times that you had to be the doctor, okay? All the times you had to run the baby to the hospital, to the to the doctor's visits, the times you had to sit up and rock them when they when their tummies hurt. You know, all the times that you had to run them back and forth, you get a call from the school, come pick up so-and-so. All the times that you took them to, you know, the basketball games or, you know, every time you had to take them to the school events, the PTA, you baked, you know, you brought something for the school or you baked them cookies for the school, even though you know you was working like two damn jobs and you was tired, you was doing overtime. Come on now. The mom's going to reward you for every bit of that. Every time you were homeless, when you sat in that car, your family left you, they knew you were sitting in that car and you showed up and you did them readings anyway. Didn't know if you won't get paid for it or not, but you know it was the right thing to do. And also kept your sanity. All the times you went and you delivered them packages or you did that door dash, even though you was like, damn, they gave me a dollar tip, some gave you a no tip. And you still went and did your work anyway. Who I'm talking to today? I love y'all. Whoever you are. The divine loves you. You have not been forgotten. You have not been forgotten. And don't you ever forget that.